Hi, it's Kara, and today we're going to be filming a quick Christmas book haul. So first off, I better talk about one book which I didn't actually get for Christmas. I picked this up in um, the Black Friday sales on Book Depository, and that is The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. This is book one in the Mistborn trilogy. I already owned book two. I picked it up from work, but they didn't have one or three at the time. Um... Oh, look at my hands. Look how inky they are. And then you'll see the third book later in this haul. These are about, I believe, um, it's a high fantasy epic, no, epic fantasy pretty much, um, following a set of characters in a world where the bad guy won and then they have magic that's about metals and the consuming of metals. It's about as much as I know. I'm so excited to read these. Like, so keen. These are being read soon. Then, as I think probably everyone got for Christmas this year, I got some colouring books. First we have a Fabulous Flowers. Oh yeah, so obviously these are all Christmas. From now on we're talking about Christmas presents. I didn't make that clear. So first off I got Fabulous Flowers, which is the gift of colouring for grown-ups, of course. Um, I have started this. I'm trying to find my page. I've been doing about over half an hour of colouring. Look how far I've gotten. Not very far. But I'm really enjoying this so far. I'm excited man. So excited. I'm so keen to get into this fad. Which follows on to the next thing which is this one. This one's um, a bit different because technically they're poster prints but they are in this book form so I'm going to include them. These are Art Deco prints, which you then, like, can put on your poster wall, like, as a poster. And they're all, oh, it's so hard to show you. <sighs> Without, like, feeling like I'm tearing out the paper. But yeah, so these are Art Deco style stuff, and I'm so excited about these. They just look so cool. Um, and I'm definitely keen to give these a try very shortly. And now we have a series of books which, um... In my travels, I have bought for myself with the intention that they were going as a Christmas gift. So let's talk about those, because I didn't see them till Christmas Day. Well, I didn't get my hands on them properly till Christmas Day. So first off, we have The Revolution of Ivy by Amy Engel. This is book two in a duology. Um, the first one's The Revolution of Ivy, and they're a dystopian where the premise is that after this apocalypse happens, this nuclear apocalypse, I believe, the um, boys of one side of the two opposing forces have to, in the village, have to marry the women of the opposite, the other side, and vice versa. And she's meant to marry the president's son, and she's going to assassinate him. But that doesn't happen, obviously, because drama, drama. And this is book two. I'm really excited to read this because I I read book one and quite enjoyed it. Then we have The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. This is the book three I was talking about before um, of the Mistborn trilogy. Again, so excited to read these. I probably won't get to this one super soon because they're so chunky. But I'm excited to get to it. And I'm glad I now have the whole trilogy, though I'm definitely going to pick up the newer ones, the continuation of the series. But I'm glad I now have the whole original trilogy so I can read all of these soon. And then we have 10,000 Skies Above You by Claudia Gray. This is book two in the Firebird trilogy, I believe it's called. It doesn't really have it written on here. The first one's A Thousand Pieces of You. These have gorgeous covers, as you can see. Gorgeous. And the first one I enjoyed. I didn't love it. I think I gave it four stars, but it was quite good. And I'm keen to pick this up. It's time trap. No, time dimension travel, I believe, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I read the first one. And a bit of romance, and I'm excited to see where it goes. <laughs> and then we have A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. This is Mass Mass. This is um, the first one in a new trilogy. It's not new. It's been out for like most of a year. The second one's almost out. Um, I have read it already. I read it November, October, one of those, but I read it from the library. So 
I arranged to get this for Christmas so I can have it on my shelf and then buy the second one to match, to match. And um, it's, I'm excited to put this on my shelf and then I'm excited to read the second one when it comes out. They are fairy tale retellings, by the way. And next we have a series of books I didn't know. I not It's not a series, a group of books I didn't know I was going to be getting for Christmas. My mum picked all these up pretty cheap. So most of them came from op shops, etc. And I'm excited. Um, let's get going. I don't know as much about all of these as I do about the other ones, but we'll, we'll try. So first off, we have a classic, which is Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Dystopia. <laughs> classic. I don't know that much about it. I'm going to be hopefully reading this this year for a challenge I have in mind. But you'll see it later, I'm sure. You'll see it when it pops up. Um, books as the basis of a dystopia. Sounds great. I know some people find this really hard to read, but classics I read differently to other books. So I think I'll enjoy this. Then we have She Went All The Way by Megan Cabot, also known as Meg Cabot. I think this is a very old addition to still say Megan. Um, this is one of her adult novels. Um, it's about a screenwriter. Um, these are like comedy romance, like total rom-com chick lit stuff. Um, but I love Meg Cabot, so I'm gonna pick this up hopefully. We'll see how long it sits on my shelf, but I think it will be fun. Then we have The Man in the Iron Mask by Alexandra Dumas. This is a sequel, or is it a the third one, like, to The Musketeers? Um, I know The Three Musketeers, obviously. I don't know if The Count of Monte Cristo is um, also a Musketeers book. I'm not sure. This is a Musketeers book, so this is a sequel to The Musketeers. Um... The Man in the Iron Mask. I have read a kid's version of this before, like a much shorter version, and I enjoyed it. So I'm excited to pick this up. I don't know much about it other than it's historical fiction. And I, he has a mask and he's in a prison and it's been a long time, okay? Classic. Then we have The Kite Runner by Haled, ha, Haled Husseini. I am butchering that, I am sure. I apologise. Um, this is... Huge, famous, everyone's heard of it. Um, set in Afghanistan. Coming of age story, I believe. I've heard brilliant things. There's three of them, like, and the mountains echoed. A Thousand Splendid Sons. Are they in the same series? Are they companion novels? I've heard brilliant things. I want to read this soon. Yes. Then we have One for Sorrow, Two for Joy by Clive Woodall. I know very little about this at all. Mum picked it up because it looked interesting. Um, to me, it seems like a war allegory, like um, like colonialism allegory, but I don't really know. It's around birds. It says that the magpies are blackbirds and sparrows have been exterminated and the magpie has replaced the pigeon in the city and the starling in the garden. Um, Birddom needs a hero to fight back. I'm excited to read this. It looks cool. It's probably going to sit on my shelf for years, but it looks great and I want to read it. So we'll see what happens. Then we have The Skies of Pern by Anne McCaffrey. This is like book crazy amount in the Pern Chronicles. Um, Anne McCaffrey's written a bunch of books for this series. Um, her kids have also written in it. So, and this is not the first one by any means. I'm going to have to sort out where I can get my hands on the rest of these though, because these sound great. They're technically science fiction, but follow dragons. <laughs> um, I believe it's set in a future planet that Earth's people attempted to inhabit, um... And then it had something happen, so the whole planet reverted back to a feudal form, I believe. And there's dragons, but they're genetically engineered, I believe. I know very little. I've done some Googling on this, trying to figure out where I need to start in this series. I'm still terribly confused, but I'm going to try and find more of these and slowly put my hands, put my hands on them and so I can read this 
series because it looks great, but it is huge. Then we have another book about dragons, and that is Temeraire by no Naomi Novik. This is Naomi Novik's original series. Um, she wrote Uprooted, which everyone raved about this past year, and I loved it. I loved Uprooted. And so I'm, I actually picked this one out for my mum to get me um, because I spotted her name and was like, that, I need that. I have the second one put aside for me at work and I'm going to pick it up in the new year once I get paid. So, yeah, these are dragon series um, historical fiction, like historical fiction fantasy, um, set in the Napoleonic era, and that just sounds great. I'm so excited to read this series. It's about, I think it's an eight book series or something like that. The newest one comes out real soon, and I'm super excited because Uprooted was amazing, and this, the plot just totally appeals to me. And finally, we have Finnegan of the Rock by Melina Marchetta. This is book one in the Lumetier Chronicles. I own Freud of the Exiles, which is book two. Um, and I'd been on the hunt for book one. So when mum picked this up on a whim, I was so excited when I saw it in my stocking. I was just over the moon because this looks so rad. Like, really. Um, I know Reagan loves this series. Um, and I picked the other one up second hand at a second hand sale. So I'm all over this series. I just need to get the third one now. Um, and they're companion novels. I love them. And I'm just so keen. So these are the books that, oh, there we go. You saw them. They were there. These are the books I bought, received for Christmas. And I am just so excited about all of these. I just, I'm keen as a bean. Um, if you've read any of these, let me know because I would like to hear about them. I'm losing things everywhere. Ah. And tell me what you think. Um, I want to know about them. I want to read them. And hopefully you will see some of them soon in upcoming wrap-ups over the course of the year because I want to read these. I will see you soon with another video. There's plenty coming up. You'll see them. I'm half brain dead, so I can't tell you what they are. And comment down below. Do the things. Please and thank. I've literally been sleep deprived for like the past, since Christmas. It is now four days after Christmas. I am sleep deprived and I've still been working every day. So I apologize for my incoherence. Enjoy. Thanks. And I'll see you soon with another video. Bye.